Holiday weekend is in a total washout. You can expect to see lots of neighborhood streets transformed into those fireworks barges because most public celebrations are canceled. First responders fear that that could lead to lots of trips to the hospital. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean spoke with an ER doctor about the most common fireworks injuries and how you can prevent them. Number one, of course, big fireworks. They can cause the most serious injuries to both adults and children, especially for first timers, because they likely don't understand the power that a single firework can hold. I reached out to ER Dr. Patrick Mulroney from Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, and he says they are expecting to see more people coming into the ER this holiday weekend. But he says the one thing parents would be surprised about is how many children come into the ER with injuries from something as simple as a sparkler. But they just don't have the coordination to, to have a a wire in their hand with something that's burning at 3000 degrees at the end of it. And what also happens with those children is once a sparkler goes out, they their brain thinks that it instantly has cooled and it hasn't. Aside from fireworks, Dr. Mulroney says there's been a dramatic increase in child drownings over the last few months. And if you're having a party, it's easy to think someone else is watching the kids. And when you have a drowning that happens in a young child, it's a silent thing. There's not a lot of splashing. There's not a lot of noise. So you need to have somebody dedicated to being a pool watcher. Many folks plan on grilling out for the holiday, and that can lead to another issue. It's one of the biggest choking hazards for kids, hot dogs. When I have young children and we're serving hot dogs, I always cut the ends of the hot dog so that it's less of a choking risk. And Dr. Mulroney wanted to remind everyone that coronavirus is still spreading and we are still seeing significant spikes in our area. So you may want to reconsider going to a party with a lot of people or even having one of your own. You can certainly have a fun time with your own family and then at night set up some chairs in the backyard and then of course watch your neighbors light up the sky with fireworks. It keeps your family healthy, you have some fun, and you get to save a little money as well.